The Chinese internet is buzzing with rumors that DeepSeek R2 is coming soon. According to tech media reports, the R2 large model will use a more advanced mixture of experts model, with total parameters roughly doubling from its predecessor R1 to about 1.2 trillion, compared to R1's 671 billion parameters. Its unit inference cost is expected to drop significantly by 97.4% compared to GPT-4. As the U.S.-China tech and trade wars intensify, NVIDIA H20 chips face new export controls. With DeepSeek R2's expected release approaching, there is heightened focus on the development of China's flagship large models amid limited access to U.S. chip resources. Rumors suggest R2 scale matches the performance of OpenAI's GPT and Google's strongest Gemini model. It will also incorporate a smarter gating network layer to optimize performance for high-load inference tasks. R2 will completely move away from NVIDIA chips. Its training process relied entirely on Ascend 910B chip clusters instead of NVIDIA compute cards. At FP16 precision, the computing performance reaches 512 petaflops, with chip utilization up to 82%. Overall performance is about 91% of NVIDIA's previous generation A100 clusters. Market expectations suggest this could reduce China's reliance on foreign high-end AI chips, especially as Huawei's new Ascend 910C chips enter large-scale production. On the cost front, DeepSeek R2's unit inference cost is significantly lower than OpenAI's GPT for by 97.4%. Specifically, R2's input costs 7 cents per million tokens, and output costs 27 cents per million tokens. Analysts believe that if R2 performs as strongly as rumored, it could reignite market doubts about AI infrastructure demand. Combined with Huawei's domestic AI chip substitution, this could pose a greater challenge to NVIDIA. Moving beyond market rumors, here are my thoughts. I believe some points are credible but others are exaggerated. First, there is little doubt that DeepSeek R2's performance will rival that of OpenAI and Google's latest large models. To be honest, AI large models have moved past the phase of technological shock. It is unlikely in the short term to see another major breakthrough like DeepSeek R1's release. R1's tech sensation stemmed not only from technical innovation, but also from its open source identity which significantly impacted the AI ecosystem. However, our one's mixture of experts model and its algorithm optimizations for underlying GPUs are now widely understood in the industry. While some details may remain hidden, replicating DeepSeek's technical approach is not difficult for major tech giants. Meanwhile, key players like OpenAI, Google, XAI, Anthropic, Alibaba, and ByteDance have shifted from technical innovation to application innovation. This is because the transformer-based AI large model architecture offers increasingly limited room for technical improvements, relying more on stacking computing power. DeepSeek R1 already diminished the significance of piling up compute resources. The core of competition now lies in integrating applications to provide cost-effective AI services for clients. With mutual understanding among competitors, the likelihood of creating another deep seek moment through algorithmic innovation is shrinking. Therefore, I believe the performance gap among top tier large models will continue to narrow. The focus of technical competition will shift to integrating applications, reducing costs, improving cost effectiveness, and minimizing hallucinations. Second, Completely abandoning NVIDIA chips seems unlikely. DeepSeek is a small company that previously stockpiled large quantities of NVIDIA compute cards. Wasting them entirely makes no sense. As an open-source AI large model, it must ensure compatibility with the dominant CUDA ecosystem. DeepSeek may have made deep technical innovations at the intermediate layer to support chips from AMD, Huawei, and Cambrian reducing reliance on NVIDIA chips. However, completely abandoning NVIDIA chips is implausible. 
Jensen Huang specifically visited China to meet DeepSeek CEO Wenfeng Liang. The typically low-profile Liang gladly attended, indicating mutual respect. DeepSeek may exaggerate the use of domestic chips due to nationalist sentiments in China, but as a commercial company, the chance of cutting ties with the world's largest AI compute infrastructure provider is zero. Third, the claim that DeepSeek used Huawei as Sin 910B compute clusters for training, with efficiency close to A100, has been widely validated and is highly credible. Shortly after our one's release, Huawei partnered with DeepSeek to advance a fully domestic computing ecosystem. Huawei's Cloud Matrix 384 compute cluster outperforms NVIDIA's clusters in domestic models and, through optical interconnect innovations, surpasses NVIDIA in absolute performance. However, due to chip process limitations, power consumption remains high. Clearly, China is not short on electricity costs. For the Chinese tech industry, nothing is more urgent than reducing dependence on the U.S. Wenfeng Liang is deeply patriotic. DeepSeek employs no foreigners and has few staff with overseas education, relying almost entirely on locally recruited talent. Its intensive collaboration with Huawei to build a fully domestic ecosystem is driven by strong intent. Like DJI's Tao Wang and Unitree's Xingxing Wang, China's post-80s tech CEOs are eager to compete with the U.S., a sentiment widely shared. Moreover, Huawei, as a pillar of China's tech industry, is recognized by the U.S. government as a formidable rival. The more the U.S. government disapproves of a Chinese company, the more young Chinese tech CEOs want to collaborate with it. Huawei also enjoys support from the Chinese government, particularly the Xinjiang municipal government. With widespread AI demand from domestic government agencies and state-owned enterprises, deep collaboration with Huawei to deliver fully domestic solutions can secure stable market revenue for DeepSeek and attract significant government support. Finally, I offer a simple prediction. DeepSeek R2 will present impressive parameters and test results that will catch attention. However, it is unlikely to replicate the global sensation of our one's release. Still, small and medium-sized countries and development teams worldwide can rest assured. DeepSeek, Quen, and other Chinese large models will stick to the open-source path. They seek an open, thriving AI ecosystem where Chinese companies hold significant influence. Amid U.S.-China competition, China's open stance will enable many small and medium-sized countries and businesses to access low-cost AI solutions.